Recursion 1, count high. Given a string, compute recursively the number of times lowercase hi, or hi, appears in the string. So let's go over the sample cases first. x, x, h, i, x, x. As you can see, h, i only appears once. So then we would return 1. Here, we can see h, i um, appears twice, here and here. So that would return 2. Oops. Finally, here, h, i. Well, this, it only appears once, so we return 1. So how do we do this? Well, the, well there are actually a lot of easier ways to do this um, using built-in string functions such as replace, but we will just be using a simple um, checking the leftmost characters method like we used in the previous prompts. Okay, so um, let's get use hmm, let's use the middle sample case. X H I X H I X. So here. We can see, okay, so let's check this. So we can just check the leftmost two characters, x, h. x, h is not equal to h, i. So we just return 0 plus whatever is left, which should be count. h, i, x, h, i, x. Okay, so h, i, x, h, i, x. So then we can check the leftmost two leftmost characters again, hi, that equals hi. So we add one plus count ix hix. And then we check the leftmost characters again. So ix hix, we check the leftmost characters, ix, that is not equal to hi. Therefore, we add 0 plus count x, h, i, x. So we basically just continue like this, constantly checking the leftmost characters of the equals h, i, adding to the sum accordingly, and then continuing on with the rest of the characters. So the reason, the, um, reason why we only remove the first character after is because in cases like this, um, okay, so for example, let's say um, a string equals a, h, i, then here it does not equal to h, i, but then here that same character will be used to make, create h, i, therefore we cannot just return, uh, remove the first two characters and we have to only remove the first one. Okay, so eventually you will get a string um, that's length 1, so here that will be x. If you just continue one, and that will be x. Now, when the length is x, length sorry, when the length is one, we know that h i can no longer appear because h i is length two, and that cannot fit in a string with size length one. So therefore, when it's length one, we just return zero because we know that it can no longer appear. Um, of course, there's in between steps, but because it's a pretty long string, and I think you understand what I mean, I'm just gonna leave it there. So let's implement that. So if the length is equal to 1. We know that it can no longer appear, so return 0. Else, we get the leftmost two characters, which would be st. Uh, hmm, so let's just str this first 2, okay, and that will be str the substring 0 to 2. Okay, so that just means that we're starting at 0 and we go all the way to index 2 without actually counting index 2, which would be the first two characters. And then um, for the rest, str will just equal whatever is left, um, which would be str substring 1, basically meaning that we start at 1 and we continue to the rest, omitting the first character. Okay, so if first 2 dot equals hi, then we add 1 to the sum, and then we continue on with the rest. If else, we return 0 and we continue on with the rest. Okay, so I made a mistake somewhere. Um, okay, so there's... There it is. And correct for more. 
index out of bounds. Hmm. Oh yeah, so it might also be empty. So the way we can take care of that is by checking if it's less than or equal to a big four. And it works.